fortunate to go out with this win here. We really, we really came out, uh, I don't know what's the word, like today's going reserved. I'm not sure what word I need to use the way we came out. Not very, not very, uh, not aggressive enough. Not what we've seen, particularly last weekend. And I mean, don't get me wrong, this is a, the coach they have, ULM's coach is an excellent coach. And there are some good players on that team. They're just not very deep. Uh, but it looked like we it looked like we woke up in the second half, and then the Earl kid number two comes alive and let him in scoring with 18. But it looked like he got them all in five minutes almost. And uh, you know, I pulled I pulled two guys out of him, thinking they can guard him, and he beats Nigel, he beats other people. People. So I think the reason we uh, we let them hang around with us, other than you know he's a good coach and they've got some good players, is we had 15 turnovers, and that's. That's, as I just told the team, that's what you were doing in the first, you know, 11 games. You were turning it over. Uh, we shot too many threes tonight. Uh, Trey and, and Nigel had a great percentage, but, you know, you got Tyler with 0 for 4. You got Alex with 0 for 3. Uh, we got an 0 for 1, Darius, and 0 for 2, Shelby. And, you know, it's, we, we just can't shoot that, that way. It wasn't a terrible percentage, but uh, it, it Three scare me because when the ball bounces long off a miss, the other team's off and running on a fast break. So we just didn't get uh, we didn't get much point production out of anybody other than uh, uh, Nigel and Trey, and and, and we're and in that in that regard, we're fortunate to get a win. You talk about Trey. This is the third game we've had double figure scoring. What has he brought to the offense since you guys lost? Marlon? That's a great question. He one of the reasons we're, we're I think you know, and this is not to, to deny anything from Marlon, but Trey is a better offensive player. Uh, probably Marlon's a better defensive player, and uh, both of them were handling the ball well. Trey uh, Marlon was handling it well before he got hurt, and Trey's not turning it over much at all. Uh, so, but we do get more offense out of Trey than we get than we got out of uh, Marlon. Uh, I, we do miss at times like right now. I would have put Marlin probably on number two if he was if he was able to play, and I, th I would have felt confident that he could stop him. Uh, but you know, he's not here, so uh, Trey's just been a great help for us. He's he, you know he's playing like an all conference player right now, and uh, you know but we're going to have to play better to to beat the. Uh, I don't know what happened between Lafayette and UTA. Do y'all know? Uh, Lafayette won by twelve. Twelve. So that gives you an idea of how strong they are. No one hardly ever goes into UTA and wins. No one. So uh, Lafayette is playing very, very well right now. They're a seasoned veteran team, and uh, they rebound it very well, especially offensively. And uh, like I told the guys, you're going to have to be a man, men, to win this game Saturday because they're, they're, they are men. There are a lot of seniors on the team, guys that have been there four years, and and uh, you know we're going to we're going to have to take care of the ball and 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 win the and. Uh, and win the battle of the boards, that's for sure. Now, going back to Trey, I just answer your question. I just think he's playing like an all-conference player since since we've given him the opportunity. You talked about Erdo getting him back into the game. Uh, kind of thing that you guys have done all season, letting teams kind of get back into games. What do you have to do defensively to, to, to prevent that? Well, you know, I just I don't I don't know if there's a question of that. You just got to d up. I mean, like I said, you know, here's this kid that isn't doing much of anything. And all of a sudden, boom, boom, boom. And I, I changed personnel on him, and he still, he beat Nigel bad. You know, I, I mean, Nigel played well offensively uh, as far as scoring. You know, he did not have a great game in terms of turnovers. And I told him, I said, I don't think your defense was very good tonight. He did get some really good rebounds for us, and uh, and he scored the ball efficiently well, for, very efficiently for us. So, uh, you know, I, I'm, uh, you know, we, we don't have a great defensive style. We just don't. You know, last year I would tell O.J. Black, get on this guy. Uh, and, and Wes Davis did that for me for a couple of years, Wesley Davis. Then O.J. Black took over. And now uh, I really don't know who to turn to when I say, hey, their, their best player has to be stopped. Uh, I, I, I really, really have some conversations with my assistants on the bench about who we put on who if we got to stop somebody. Turned over a couple times. Was there anything different you were throwing out, or just no? Nigel, Nigel had a bad game turnover wise. Peacock did too. Those two accounted for eight out of fifteen. We had one. I think we had one team turnover. I don't know if that's shot clock violation or whatever. Probably was. Yeah. So the rest of the team had six.
okay. I'm, uh, yeah, the rest of the team had six. That's not bad. You can't have two guys have eight, especially when they're on the floor as much as those two are. As Dave came into the game, uh, when did they hit a three? You, how has he been able to come back in the line? Well, you know, he still moves gingerly. Laterally, when he's got to guard somebody, you got to move laterally. It's like he's struggling. He's a very good shooter. You know, I, I've never had a player saddled or affected so long with a groin type injury like that or any injury like that. I was looking at this. Where were you asking the team to execute? Like, were you wanting to foul them because of the free throw line? Where were you asking for you guys to close the uh, When they threw it in full court, as soon as they crossed half court, foul them. Mm -hmm. Okay, we had a foul to give. And. Uh, when we were up three, we were not going to let him shoot a two, three, okay? I thought a key play for us was going to 13, what we call 13 defense. We went to that 1-3-1 one, one trap with 14 seconds to go, and they didn't get a shot on That was a very key possession for us. And then they come back, I think, right after that, and, and number 30 hits a big long three, uh, hits a big three from way back, way out there. Guys extend the winning streak to 16. So what was the biggest thing tonight to be able to pull off the win? I feel like we played together. Uh, I feel like, you know, uh, we, we survived a push again. But, uh, man, we just we just, keep, we just keep fighting. That's the main, that's the main thing. I talked about that earlier. And we just keep fighting. So, proud of us for keeping on fighting. Yeah, we understand it's a big week, too, with uh, Lafayette on Saturday. So, before we take care of business on Saturday, tonight was like a must win. So that was like another motivation I played in uh, played into the game. You talk about fight. Is, is that the identity that you want people to know about Texas State that they fight through things? Oh, you want, I mean, you want to be tough for sure. You know, the toughest team, the tougher we are, it doesn't matter. We, you know, toughness going to fight. So toughness going to rebound. Toughness going to make open shots. I just want to be tough. So that's the identity I want to have. If that's our identity, then I'm happy. You know, if we tough, they say, you know, you talk about Tech State, they say Tech State is tough, then we're doing something right. This is the third start for you since Marlon uh, scored double digits in this time. But what is that? What's the adjustment been like to be more minutes at that time? What's helped you so far? Um, Marlon, um, again, he's been giving me pointers in uh, practice and on, on the defensive end on how to uh, stop the penetration and stuff. but. It's more of like a mental mindset, being ready to go, being being ready to get thrown into the fire, being ready to help the team, being ready to get the W, just ready to strap on and lock down on defense. That's the main thing. And I just want to help my team win. That's what we did tonight. So we had a couple more turnovers than usual. Anything you and them throw at you differently, something go through you before the game? No, I, threw, I threw that on myself. Yeah, uh, that was on me. Every turnover was on me, so I'm going to fix that. I'm going to look at some film. You know, uh, that's my one part of my game. And I, like, I don't think I didn't, I didn't get no steals tonight either, so I don't like that either. So I turned the ball over a, a, a lot. I made a few defenses, some mistakes. So, I mean, yeah, I had too many turnovers for sure. Yeah, you talked about uh, wanting the team to learn how to close out games so I can finish a little bit stronger. Um, what do you guys think that you grow in that area, especially with the, uh, the game coming up against a pretty good you guys, like, what's the, the question? Is it, it just how, well, where do you need to grow, grow as a team, you know, to be able to close out games? Uh, we got to, I mean, th the main thing we do in this, we get to making shots, I think we're going to make every shot. So we, we make th two or three threes, now it's like, now I'm, I'm guilty of it too. I shoot, I made two, now I got to shoot three. Instead of, I done made two, he's going to run at me, let me get to the rack, you know, or let me create one more. I mean, every one of us do it, and that's why teams keep coming back, because we knock them down, and instead of stumping them, we help them up. So that's what we got to learn. Right? But we stay together, though, and that's the main thing. We don't start pointing fingers, start looking at each other crazy. When somebody shoots a shot, we just keep playing. One of the common themes around Texas State sports it seems to be fan attendance. Pretty decent turnout tonight. What do you guys think of the crowd, and what are you looking forward to Saturday? Oh. That was amazing tonight. Thank you for everybody for coming out. You know, it's back to school basketball. You can't miss it. So the crowd was amazing tonight. Hopefully they come out Saturday. Saturday's the one. Saturday's a big game. 
We got one W this week, and we're gonna we're gonna be looking for two. We hungry. Yeah, uh, I hope all the fans understand the importance Saturday, how much we need home court advantage, and what a win could do for us. So I hope they all come out. You know, and uh, it's gonna be a game. So they like to see good basketball. <laughs> Saturday, straight hand, 4:30. That's gonna be the place to be.